Hey, this is Paul from Orphan Val Pal, and I have with us Gary today. And um, what I want to talk about is um, a kind of an unusual presentation of his knee. I don't have the diagnosis, I don't have the answer to this. But with our findings, I want to talk about the direction that we are going to go in, which I think is super important at this time. Now, yesterday I happened to be uh, at Gary's workplace. He works in an automotive store, and he was walking uh, and kind of like this with a very you know, strong limp and dragging his leg, not bending his knee very well, um, externally rotating his leg, and obviously in some discomfort. And so I had him come in today, I said, Gary, I'm going to take a look at you, we're going to try to figure this out. And so here he is. He's had a history of a fusion on this ankle, which at this point I'm not too worried about because it's quite old. Um, and Gary, this happened, what, approximately? Almost two weeks ago. Two weeks ago. And you had an episode where you kind of slipped and fell, right? Yeah. Kind of tell me about what happened there really quickly. I just, it was a rainy, damp night that night. I was walking, I was at camp, walking down towards the door, and all of a sudden I kind of went down, went sideways back and forth, tried to catch myself from going down, but I went down anyway. Okay. And um, no big snap or pop or anything no like that? No big snap time. or pop, okay. no. But the next day you were pretty incapacitated, weren't you? Yes, yeah. very. Gary's a pretty tough guy. He did not go to the emergency room, did not go see a doctor. This is the first time he gets any medical attention for this, and I know him from the past, so he's a pretty tough guy. Um, where is most of your pain? Right on the side. Okay. And I put weed on it. Okay. And um, any tingling or numbness in it? Once in a while there is, yes. Okay, and where would you say that tingling or numbness is? Down the lake. Like around this area here? Yes. Okay. So, um, he has tingling. Um, so we want to be somewhat concerned that he has some sort of a nerve injury. So the first thing I did when I evaluated him is I checked his reflexes. And if you want to take a quick peek, go ahead and relax, Gary. I'll just show you. He's a little hyper-reflexive there. And he's good here. Um, and equal on both sides. Okay, he has no loss of sensation. And the other thing I did is I put him into a straight leg raise position. And that did not increase his pain, didn't increase his paresthesias. So I'm not really concerned with anything going on in his lumbar spine. I also did some manual muscle testing of his extensors, his dorsiflexors, inverters, everters. He held very nicely. Um, so I'm not concerned with a lumbar radiculopathy. I internally and externally rotated his hip and I put him on the table. He was able to flex his leg really well. Not worried about an intraarticular hip problem. So now we kind of get down to the knee here, okay? He's able to straighten his knee all the way. He's able to bend it all the way. We had him do that on the table, and there was no problem in the room, okay? I palpate his joint lines. There's no pain there. His medial joint line, there's no pain there. There's no synovitis, and there's no effusion in the knee. So I'm not thinking that there is anything intra-articular going on here, okay? So, put a finger on where it hurts the most. Pardon? Put a finger on where it hurts the most. Hurts most. Right in this area. Okay. Yep. Right. So now I'm going to have you go right down onto your back, onto the pillow. I mean, on your back. There you go. Good. Everybody does that. About 50% of my patients do that. And so I, I fully extend them, no problem. I bend them, no problem. But I'm going to give them a little varus stress at zero degrees, which is going to stress the capsule a little bit, and the collateral some. You don't like that. No. Nope. And there was a pretty considerable pop with that also. Yeah. Um, I'm going to bend his knee, and I'm going to check him. And does that hurt? Just a little spot right in here. Okay. So he hurts a little bit lower. When I palpate his lateral collateral, that does not hurt though, does it? Mm. Okay. Yeah. So, he doesn't have a lot of laxity either. So I'm not totally convinced that this is a lateral collateral tear either. He doesn't have a lot of swelling on that lateral collateral. But when I palpate his fibula, get tender. Yeah. Ouch, that's really bad. Yeah. And he's really tender right here. Yeah. And right here. Sorry, Gary. Yeah. And as I just palpated this last one, I got a click. Mm -hmm. Okay? So one would be concerned with the possibility of what we call a Mazenoufs fracture, which is a proximal fibular fracture that can happen with a twisting mechanism of the leg, especially if the foot is planted and turned. 
And we've seen this with people. Now, we see it with people who are osteoporotic more often, and he claims he's not osteoporotic. He doesn't have a big family history of anything else. My concern would be, you know, why did this fracture if it is, okay, and um, which could be pathologic. So what is the treatment plan for this? The treatment plan is going to be get an x-ray on this, first of all, just to make sure he doesn't have a fracture. Um, if it is just a strain of the lateral collateral ligament, then it should get better. He has no instability of the leg. And I was able to get him to walk a little bit better just with some cueing a while ago. So first things first, we x-ray this just to make sure he's not fractured. If he has, we'll send him to orthopedics. It's not a weight-bearing bone, so we don't have to worry about it too much. But we do want to improve his gait. So I would probably put him in a walker boot um, just so that he can continue to ambulate and not stress the... Um, uh, the ankle too much and not move this too much and then probably slow him down at work a little bit. So x-ray for something like this and um, we will uh, see what happens and we'll go from there. I'll keep you informed on how he does. If you have any questions, um, please send a comment or questions to uh, www.orthoevalpal.com and I'll be more than